This is Lewis Brightpool for Rebel News and today I'm in Littlehampton where I'm going to be sitting down with David Curtin, the current leader for the Heritage Party. Now you may remember David Curtin who was part of the London Assembly and challenged key figures such as Sadiq Khan. So today we're going to be going to a pub over a drink and going to be talking about things such as Covid to UK politics to Canada. So I'm here with the leader of the Heritage Party, David Curtin. Thank you very, very much for taking your time out to speak with me today. Uh, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Really good to be here with you. Yeah. Good, good. I mean, we've always bumped into each other during protests mm. and things like that, so I thought it would be appropriate to properly sit down and have a chat and just get to know. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. And I met you on the, the, the big protest. I think it was December, wasn't it? it yeah. Really important protests when yeah, the yeah. government were thinking of doing this plan B and all this. People were worried about a fourth lockdown and so on. But yeah, yeah. nice to see you in a pub. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's a nice setting, isn't <laughs> it? Rather than being out in the wind and the yeah, rain. Yeah, yeah, no. It's so important to do, but you yeah. know, it's nice to come to a pub as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Let's talk UK. Mm -hmm. So, Restrictions have started to ease, and I think we're going to be scrapping self-isolation, I believe, very, very soon, or Boris Johnson has announced. Um, for me, in my personal opinion, I still think that there's something on the horizon. There's still mm. something to be going on. Can I get your take? Yeah, what you've got to remember is this is a global rollout which is controlled by the WEF mm -hmm. and other organisations. And they got their puppet regimes mm -hmm. in the UK with Johnson, in Canada with Trudeau, with Biden and Ardern and, you know, all the premiers in Australia. Um, so at various times they push ahead mm -hmm. and then with other countries they pull back a little bit. So we are very fortunate at the moment in England they've pulled back. And I think that's for a number of reasons. I think it is because there has been massive, massive protests and yeah. really they didn't expect so many people to come out in midwinter mm -hmm. to protest in December. People have been praying as well. I know I always say this is a spiritual battle as well as a political battle and as, a, as an information battle. So I think that's an aspect of it. Sure. But also just at the right time, all of these revelations came out about him and his staff in Downing Street yeah. partying away yeah. uh, all through 2020, 2021, when they were telling other people to lock down and leave your relatives to die alone. Sure. And people are absolutely appalled at the hypocrisy of that. And that has shamed them so much, I think, yeah. that they simply couldn't implement another lockdown and so on. It's almost like a, he blundered his way into, mm. into almost good news. I mean, people are saying that it's almost like a distraction. Um, what's your take on that when people say it's a distraction? Yeah, I think it is. There's distractions everywhere and this is what's been going on for the last two years because at the end of the day, this is not about a virus. Because you're watching this on YouTube, we cannot show the full interview because we touch upon some very spicy subjects. However, if you go to the top comment on this video or the description, you can actually watch the full thing. So go there. Click it, watch it, leave a comment, enjoy.